Jennifer Hollett, a Concordia Communications and Journalism alumna, recently spoke at the Concordia Donor Student Award event. She emphasized just how much her studies at Concordia have helped her in her career. The event was organized by Advancement Alumni Relations to thank donors and celebrate student success. When I was a student, I had the opportunity to sit in on the interviews. And if you're familiar with the program, I remember I had to do everything to get into Concordia. There were, well, of course, you know, the grades and, and letters and essays. For journalism, I needed a site passage on Aristotle's poetics. For communications, I had to submit a portfolio and then the interview. So as you can imagine, there are a lot of urban legends about this interview process. So when I was a student, they let students join the professors for these interviews. I couldn't wait. And we were interviewing a prospective student. And when I got to the Q&A session, I said, so what's the craziest thing you've heard about this interview process? She said, well, I heard a rumor that once someone applied to the program, and in their application, they said they could play some random instrument and then when they showed up in the interview, the panel pulled out that random instrument and said, you have to play this. <laughs> and I love that story because that could have happened if you know the communications program. And I think also it captures the spirit of Concordia. I remember my first day in the journalism program. I was doing a specialization in journalism and communications. I had never really practiced journalism. I had written for my high school paper. I wrote for my own zine, if you remember zines. There were a lot of young faces. Before blogs, we had something called zines where we like write our own stories and type them on a typewriter and photocopy them and trade them with our friends. That was my experience in journalism. So you can imagine when my professor said, all right, the first assignment, you're gonna go out and cover the local election. That I was a bit intimidated. I thought, well, like I'm just a student and I don't know much about Montreal politics, and peut-être j'ai besoin de parler français, j'ai étudié le français en Ontario. Funny, but let's do this. So uh, it was in NDG, there was an all candidates debate at the Montreal School for the Blind. I went in, and I took notes, I figured out what was going on with municipal politics. And then after the debate, I went up, I introduced myself to the candidates, and I said, I'm a student from Concordia, and I'd like to do a story. And they spoke to me, and they answered my questions, and they treated me seriously like I was a real journalist. <laughs> and that moment reminded me why I chose to go to Concordia. Because it's not just about head in the books, you know, studying, debating ideas, theory. It's equally about practice going out there, figuring it out, trying on for size, and maybe making some mistakes along the way. Within a few months at school, I was actively involved with anything related to student media. So I was a DJ at Sirius G Radio. I was writing for the Concordian. These were the experiences that helped me win a Canadian Women's Press Scholarship and the Nick Oftemar Memorial Bursary while I was at Concordia. Well, in my second year, while I was writing for the Concordian, I saw an ad in the paper. And the ad was posted by Sony Music, and it said they were looking to hire a campus marketing representative that would set up band interviews and give CDs to DJs and student journalists, and basically get paid to go to concerts and hang out with artists. <laughs> I didn't even know a job like this existed, <laughs> so you can imagine how quickly I applied. I got the job, and hands down, I had the best job on campus. And a year and a half later, that actually led to a full-time job opportunity with Sony Music in Toronto. They asked me to come and join their consumer technology department. That's what they were calling the web and new media back in 1997. Now, it was that job at Sony Music where I ended up meeting a TV producer, which led to my career at CTV. And it was at CTV I ended up meeting someone who would go on to work at Much Music, which led to my time at Much Music as a DJ. And I had a wild ride in my 20s working in television as a TV host and reporter for CTV, Much Music, as well as CBC. But with the changing media landscape, I started to look at other options. So I decided to apply at a program uh, at the Kennedy School at Harvard University. When I got into Harvard, it was a really exciting moment. 
I call my dad, and well, he's always proud, and uh, I should say he's also a Concordia alumni, and he likes to say, because he also uh, did a degree at McGill, that he only donates to Concordia, because <laughs> he, he says this all the time, he says wherever he lives in the world, and he moves a lot, somehow Concordia finds him and asks him for money. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 